Hey guys, welcome back to the Smoking Gun. Today we have another Cigar in the Car episode for you. And today we're going to be trying White Owl Emeralds. Uh, I have no idea what emerald means. I don't know what they're, what, what they mean by the flavor I'm saying. Um, all it says is unsweet. Just says unsweetened right there. So I'm guessing this might just be their White Owl's regular unflavored gas station cigar. Let's just see. Get one of these out. Oh, they're they're actually green in color. Oh, look at that. Creative. Yeah, that's what these are. These are just White Owl's regular unflavored cigar. It smells just like any uh a uh, regular Swisher or an Optimo Silver, almost like a graham cracker smell to it, except this one smells a little more cigarette-y. If any of you have ever smelled a cigarette, they, they have that weird smell, that fake tobacco smell in paper. But um, kind of repacking the cigar because there's tobacco falling out of it, like they always do. Let's just get right into it. Yeah, so it's just an unflavored cigar. I don't know why they had to make it green. Um, I guess to go along with their emerald thing. But uh, so far, it's... Uh, it's kind of a boring cigar. Not that, not saying it's bad. Like, it tastes very similar to an Optimo Silver. But the flavors just are kind of like... There's less flavor to it. You know, Optimos have a little more flavor... Uh, this is really light on the flavor, but leaves really bad aftertaste. Very dry. Mm. Yeah, it's just not very good. Um... Again, uh, like the video with the uh, Swisher banana daiquiris, the saying that these cigars taste like someone's foot, this one kind of does too. Um, not quite as bad, but um, it's just not. It's just not great. Um, what else can I say? Um, it just tastes kind of cheaper, and you can actually taste the paper burning. It's it's a very weird offset flavor, literally from the paper burning. It's like copy paper burning along with a little bit of uh, very horrible quality tobacco. Absolute shit tobacco. But that, that goes for most gas station cigars. That's not just White Owls. It's all of them. Um... Retro Hill is actually not bad. Uh, very smooth. You don't taste much. Again, there's not much flavor to the cigar. It's kind of just... Uh, just tastes like something's burning. You know? It tastes mostly like paper. But you know what? I'm going to give uh, White Owl the benefit of the doubt. This is probably one of the better White Owls I've ever had. Um, I had had White Owl grapes a few times. And one time it was fine. Uh, but the second time I had it, it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. Smoking a gas station cigar. These are fine though, uh, they're not too bad. Um, it is getting kind of harsh, it's kind of burning a little bit. Um, you know, it's just not, it's not very smooth, I can tell you that. Uh, the aftertaste is terrible. I'm already getting that cigar mount setting in.
Yeah, real bad tongue bite. When I say burning, I, I mean tongue bite. I should probably be calling it tongue bite. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say it burns. It just kind of, it's just tongue bite, but it's all over your mouth. Um, but you guys know me. I like gas station cigars, so I'm not going to bash on this too much because it is what it is. It's just, it's an Optimo Silver with not as much flavor and colored green. That's really all it is. Um, the one thing Optimos have a big advantage of is that you do use a real tobacco leaf as the wrapper, uh, which it does a lot for flavor. That's probably why it has so much more flavor because it's an actual wrapper. You get most, most of your flavor from the wrapper from cigars. I don't know how true that is with gas station cigars, but I'm gonna assume it's the same same thing. So when you when you have something with paper, it's just not gonna it's just not gonna be the same, you know. It's just not gonna be able to replicate that replicate that flavor um, as good. I am glad White Owl makes something that's unflavored, though. I really don't like flavored cigars that much, uh, but I do like some gas station cigars that are flavored. Um, they're just they're just fun to try, you know. I just like trying them because they're most of them aren't as bad as people say. Most people get, oh my god, they're so terrible. They're usually not that bad, uh, and you can still enjoy them and get something out of them. So that's going to be the end of this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you on the next one.